Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. The quickest way to the canyon is to the East Gate! That is epic tattle, however I am not going to the East Gate, nor the canyon, today. Uh, in the previous video we finished out the Great Bay Temple, we got the boss Georg's remains, and we were able to do everything that you are able to do after completing it, which is like nothing at all. In today's episode, we're soaring back to Great Bay Coast because we need to take care of a mini game there, and then there's also more things we need to do. But today, we're going to be doing something called the Beaver Brothers Racing mini game. It doesn't actually have a name, and I discovered that when doing a little bit more uh, research into it. But there are two prizes we can get from here, so we're going to want to claim those. I soared to Zora Hall just because I thought it was the easiest. Um, so it's out by the waterfall, which we've been to before. There was a like like who was holding a piece of heart at the very bottom. We went in, we got that from him, super cool, and now we can uh, we can leave. Now it's worth mentioning you can actually do this minigame challenge anytime after you get the hookshot. So technically uh, you could go and get the hookshot from the Pirate's Fortress, soar out, and then do this right away. Um, it wouldn't be super helpful. It does give you an empty bottle as I've, uh, as I've revealed in the previous video and some Zora told us that as well. But that's not going to be like of much use in the Pirate's Fortress, especially if you have to leave after getting the first one, because there's only three left in terms of, of Zora eggs, so I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird placement in all honesty. You don't really need too many more bottles anymore after this, but whatever. It's a nice gesture that they have it here. So we need to climb to the top of the waterfall is what we are starting out with doing. And as I said, we need the hookshot to do that, so I'll be switching out of uh, Zora form pretty shortly here. I believe this is actually our first ticket. Hold on, let me defeat this uh, P-like-like, not P-hat. Alright, so I believe we need to hookshot up to this tree right here, and then hookshot to another tree, and then another tree, and then another tree. Uh, a couple more times. Okay, so yeah, we're basically just making our way up here, using our hookshot as our method of transportation. Eventually we'll find the place where the beavers lie. We're going to be doing the race in Zora form. So, you know, we'll be doing the race in Zora form. I can't hit that, really? Can I hit it now? I can. Awesome. Alright, so we're almost at the very tippity top now. There's a little chest stop on the way. How nice. It's, uh, 20 rupees. Okay. Some, some, some small pocket change for uh, a rich man like me who is in grave need of 5,000 rupees for a reward later in the game. I should really get on doing those. Maybe in a live stream. Alright, so there's the cave entrance, and this is the last place we can be. Alright, so I'm going to put on the Zora mask, because as I said, we need to be Zora to do this race. And now we can enter this area right here. Coolio. Waterfall Rapids. Awesome. So, it plays the Zora's domain music. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, let's just hop into the water and chase down a beaver. What's going on, my friend? You want to chat? Okay, looks like he's swimming down to the very bottom. And of course, if you're not Zora Link, then you cannot uh, talk to him because he's at the very bottom. So we're going to dive to the bottom. Cool. And then we can have a chit chat with him. You again? You can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You'll never learn your lesson. Coo coo coo. Okay, I'll give you one. But only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So, do you want to try? We will try. There's a total of 20 rings. You must swim through them all in the right order for them to count. Swimming through the ring. Swim through the ring that's flashing. I'll show you the ways. Follow me. Don't get separated. Alright, so as the beaver very easily explained to us, we need to follow him. Uh, it's not really a race yet. It's more of just a little challenge here. So, we do need to swim uh, with him. That is the most aggressive game crash yet. Uh, I I'll be back. All right, we're back here once again. Uh, let's just do the exact same thing we did before and hope that we don't get the game crash. That was the the loudest one yet. I, mean, I think I might have to even turn that one down in uh, in editing because I mean that was just atrociously loud. Um, whoops. I, I mean I can't control it, so it's not like it was on me, but I still kind of feel bad. All right, so we're going to uh, dive and talk to this little beaver friend once again. I'm not going to do his voice because we already know how to play the game. We just need to play the game. All right, so we're going to try his game. 20 rings. Here we go. All right, so as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. As the beaver uh, explained, we need to follow him in this little mini game he's created where you have to swim through 20 rings. 
And uh, yeah, it's very, very simple if you're good at Zora swimming. If you're not, then you might have a little bit of issues. I don't think you ever need to like dolphin dive or anything. I think it's very straightforward. You just have to swim through each one. Um, this is honestly a very boring section of the game. If I remember correctly, you have to do this race four times. At minimum two, I think it might be three or four. So uh, yeah, that's that's obviously not good. So uh, there's a streamer I watch on Twitch. His name is Majin Phil. He used to speedrun this game a lot. He doesn't do it as much now, but either way, um, he had a speedrun split for this, which is basically the section of the run. He called it snack time because this was like an hour or two hours into the run. And uh, if you have been watching, then you probably need to, you know, take a break, use the bathroom, do whatever. So he called it snack time. So this episode is called snack time. Now you might be wondering, why is it called snack time? Well, I actually have about eight Ritz crackers here next to me, and I'm going to eat them. And I'm going to review some food that I've eaten recently, and uh, we're going to have a grand old time here. So welcome to snack time. As soon as I get a straightaway here, okay, I'm going to eat a Ritz cracker. Mmm. Okay. So the Ritz cracker is in my mouth. I'm just going to, you know, eat it like you'd eat a Ritz cracker. Very good, very light, very buttery. Um, some people put Ritz crackers in tomato soup. I prefer mine separately, but I'm not going to judge if you are one who likes to eat them together. Okay, first race done. Uh, that was perfect. That's not good. Oh, did you call me, little brother? I called you, big brother. Actually. What? An empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. I can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. I can't eat these Ritz crackers. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race me once more against me. So we'll try. We will try. Same thing, 25 rings. Here we go. Okay. I eat the Ritz crackers. I just can't commentate. Or I'm not eating the crackers. So, um, whoops, I guess. This isn't looking so hot. This one, this might be a failed attempt in all honesty. Depends how quickly I can catch up. I don't think that actually causes you to go faster. Uh-oh. Okay, I might. I think I'm okay. Hopefully. Maybe not. Mm, we'll see. So, yeah. Originally, I was going to have a, a little tray of different foods. I would have, like, some... I don't know. I was going to go to a grocery store and buy, like, a bunch of weird foods that I've never tried before. And eat them during the snack time. Uh, slash food review section. But now that I'm actually playing the game and being able to experience what a food review would be like in this attempt, or, or what a, eating a snack would be like, it, it's not easy. So I hope you guys are enjoying snack time. I, um, I guess I can't participate. I have these seven Ritz crackers now that I just have to eat later. Um, whatevs. Maybe I'll get a, a break at some point. Um, eh, I'm, I'm not super bothered in all honesty. I think it would have been cool to do the snack time. Oh, double! Two for one! That was pretty cool. Anyway, I can talk about foods I've eaten, uh, and hopefully you guys are eating good foods. I don't know. This is kind of a derailed conversation. But, let's see, what I have for dinner? I had chicken wings for dinner today, and also some salad. Very good. Uh, McDonald's has been having a bunch of new, uh, new <laughs> foods. I actually have a story about that, and I'll get into that next race. Um, I have two stories about McDonald's foods, and we can explain that because it's snack time, and it's my job to make you want to eat food or something. Not sponsored, by the way. I don't need to say that because no one would sponsor me, but, you know, just in case. Whoa! That was sick. That was a cool dive. All right, let's read this text, and then I'll explain my funny story. He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did, but I don't even know their voices anymore. There's nothing we can do, little brother. This is a mess, big brother. Hey, we got our empty bottle. Awesome, that's empty bottle number four. We underestimated you. Cool, all right. So, you think that's it, right? Nay, we can uh, swim over here and play against the brothers again for yet another prize. Isn't that just dandy? Okay, up we go. As I said, a very boring episode. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any, big brother. If you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. Well, we do. We're going to race, and we have to start off with a time limit of a minute and 50 seconds. Don't fall behind. All right, so... McDonald's. Two new things they've introduced recently. The Travis Scott meal and the uh, the spicy chicken nuggets. So we'll start with a Travis Scott meal story. 
I went to McDonald's and I wanted to get a Travis Scott meal, not because it's Travis Scott branded, like that was separate from it. I just really enjoy burgers with bacon on it. And I also like McDonald's barbecue sauce and, and it was basically like the meal I would get except he added bacon, right? So I was like, oh, I wanna try this. So I go to the drive-thru, my mom's, my mom's driving and my mom was like, what would you like? I said, one Travis Scott meal, please. And she tells the person in the intercom, we'll have one Travis Scott meal, please. And you know what they said? They said, oh, sorry, we're out. And, and we looked at each other kind of puzzled and, and, you know, we just ordered something else. But afterwards, we're sitting in the drive through line and I was like, what are they out of? And she was like, I know, right? I said, if they were out of burger supplies, then they'd have a real big problem. So it can't be like they're just out of lettuce, meat, like buns, bacon, to lettuce, I already said lettuce, onions. You know, like they just can't be out of the things that they need. Right? Okay, are they out of barbecue sauce? No, because I got barbecue sauce. I also got a regular hamburger. The only thing we didn't get in our meal was bacon. So were they out of bacon? Like that kind of seems like their big money maker. Okay, whatever. I was talking to some friends on PlayStation a couple days after. This guy, my friend, uh, his name is Jason. He's been on the channel. Actually, maybe he hasn't, whatever. But Jason, oh, I just threw the race. I literally just threw the race. Jason, this is your fault. Shout out to you, Jason. You're probably watching this because I'm going to tell you to watch it. Anyway, I didn't throw it. So, so Jason was telling me like he went to McDonald's too and they didn't have the Travis Scott burger. They said they were out. What are they out of? He did it again, little brother. He did it again, big brother. That's shameful, little brother. Now race me. What will you do? We'll race. Okay. So same time limit, 25 rings. Here we go. All right. Cool. So I, I don't know if anyone in my comment section uh, works at McDonald's if any viewers work at McDonald's what are you guys out of do they come in a special box or something and, and you can't sell it without the special box are they like numbered or, I, I don't know very weird for me anyway the other thing I wanted to tell was the story about the spicy chicken nuggets and um, I don't know it's not like particularly my story to tell but I, I doubt uh, Jason would mind saying his name a lot anyway he um he was at McDonald's same same trip and he wanted to get 20 of these spicy chicken nuggets. So he went up to the counter and he's, you know, they were like, welcome McDonald's, what can I get for you? And Jason said, I would like 20 spicy chicken nuggets, please. And the cashier lady said, okay, hot or spicy? And he goes, spicy. And then she asked again, hot or spicy? And he goes, spicy? And she asked a third time, hot or spicy? And my man Jason goes, it's the same thing. He just, he, he just, Go, yeah, it's the same thing. He just, I think he yelled it at her in all honesty. And I, I'm not about yelling at uh, fast food workers, but it's a freaking funny story. Uh, he ended up with 20 hot uh, chicken nuggets, or 20 spicy ones, and uh, 10 regular. So, cool. And no Travis Scott burger. Anyway, that about concludes the snack time section. I have to finish this race. Five left in about 25-ish seconds. That's about five per currently ahead if I were to do uh, splits let's see what is these last four gonna look like then uh, one up one low one up one low presumably I can't mess this up stop ticking get down get down get down epic we got him that's a rich cracker he's a formidable opponent little brother you're all talk hey big brother if we give him that gem I wonder if he leaves alone little brother yeah, I want to quit, big brother. Piece of art. Okay. Please, let it be over. <laughs> We're done bullying them, and uh, I finally get to be done pretending I'm enjoying eating while trying to commentate. Holy lord, the food tastes good. They're good rich crackers, but they're just not commentating food. Holy lord. Okay, well, as I said, that concludes snack time, and I hope you guys have enjoyed whatever snack you got to eat. I would love to, to hear about what you're eating. Please put it in the comment section. Maybe I'll ask for a recipe, if it's a very good recipe. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see more food-related content, make sure to hop over to the Stardew Valley series, because I'm going to be taste testing pumpkin spice things coming up pretty soon whenever I get to harvest pumpkins in that game. That's a farming game, if you couldn't tell. All right, so... That's going to be all for this episode. I want to go ahead and uh, showcase what's going to be happening in next episode because I don't think I clarified it too well. Um, well, well, I kind of did, but anyway. Oh, Lord. All right, so what's going to happen is right in front of me, there's a house. 
and it is the Oceanside Spider House. It is 30 spiders, just as it was in the Swamp Spider House. We're going to be going in here, we're going to be clearing them out, and uh, we're going to be taking the ultimate victory here, claiming our prize. So, uh, this is what we'll be taking care of in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about this series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me, you can turn videos around. I will catch you all back here next time on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Until then, as always, take care.